Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and uh, welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this lesson, we will see how does an Oracle database start? What are all the processes that are involved? Okay, so in the previous video, we saw that uh, whenever we want to interact with an Oracle database, we need to set the Oracle SID that we want to connect to and we need to set the Oracle home that we want to connect to. Okay, so now let's just assume the database is uh, not online. Okay, the database has been already shut down. So what are all the processes that are involved in starting up a database? Okay, so let's just see. So when we start a database, okay, there are three phases to it. Three phases. Okay. Sorry, not that one. There are three phases to it. Okay. So the first one is you start up the database with no mount option. Second one is you start up the database with mount option. Third one is you start up the database with open option. Okay. I'll come one by one. So I'll explain, when I explain what happens when we start, then you'll understand. Okay, so, so the process is like this. So we issue the startup command. So once the startup command has been issued, it looks for the parameter file. It looks for the parameter file. Okay, that's the first step the startup process looks for. Okay, and uh, like I explained in, in some of the previous videos, a parameter file can be found as an SP file or can be found as an P file. I'll explain where they can be found but then again just remember the sequence. When you start it up the first thing it's going to look for is parameter file and once the parameter file is read it gets the information about the control files and other details mainly control files it's very important okay so once it's able to read the control files right it opens the control files okay so let me put this as read control files and then open control files Okay, now these control files, they tell the startup process that which the, 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 the properties of the database files, like now where are the database files located and the status of the database files and everything. So from this point with the information it got from control files, it's able to read the database files and open the database okay so even if you haven't seen the previous videos that's fine 
you can assume that you are going to start from here uh, but the the important part this is an important uh, part of understanding Oracle database it's very simple so when you start a database okay you issue a startup command and the first thing it looks for is the parameter file okay depending upon the configuration of the system it knows where the parameter file is if not we need to specify that manually so right now I'm not going to get into how to specify this in specify this manually so I'm gonna keep things as simple as possible so the first is when you when you issue a startup it's gonna look for a parameter file and once it finds the parameter file it's gonna read the parameter file and it will find out where the control files are located the location of the control files are mentioned in the parameter file the parameter file not only has the location of control files it also has other memory parameters to use to start the instance so up to this part it's only the instance okay so now it read the control files okay so now we need to read the database files open the database files so the control files tell the startup process that the locations and other properties of the database files so using which it's able to go and open the database oh it's here okay open the database okay so parameter file gives the information about the control files it reads the control file and then it opens the control file and then from there it's able to open the database okay so when you open the database you can open the database in two ways actually like now you open the database uh, 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 let me say it like now in in two ways one is you open it in mount mode meaning that in this mode only DBAs can access it okay the database is not f open okay it's the database is not open for the regular use okay it's opened in mount mode you know what I, d I don't even want to use the word open because uh, it may get you know confusing okay so let me erase this okay so you open the control files and then you let's say let me put this as you read the data, database so once the database is read right it mounts the database let me call it correctly so it mounts the database okay at this stage only DBS can read the database okay once it has been mounted then we open the database meaning that when you open the database is available for use by everyone okay again remember the sequence this is very important to understand that's why I am uh, stressing this again and again so when you issue the startup that startup will look for the parameter file and once it finds the parameter file it reads it and it gets the information of where the control files are located okay once it's able to find the control files it opens the control file okay this up to this part you know this is the this is phase one okay from startup to opening the control file this is phase one okay after opening the control file 
now the process knows where the database files are located so it's able to read the database files and it mounts the database okay so from this point to the mounting point okay this is phase 2 okay phase 1 we say we have started the database we have started up in no mount mode okay let me write no mount mode okay phase 2 we mounted the database okay but still it's not accessible it's only used uh, only dbs can be dbs can use the database okay once it is mounted then it gets opened okay so this is the final stage or the third stage okay so after this is successful once this is successful then the database is available for use okay this is the sequence in which an oracle database starts okay startup parameter file is needed right looks for the parameter file from there it gets the information of the control files from there it gets the information of the database files at first it mounts and then it opens okay so three phases okay so what are the phases the database phase one is no mount mode phase two is mount mode phase three is open okay so this sequence you need to understand okay I'm gonna show examples of how this is uh, this sequence is working but then this is uh, the the fundamental of Oracle startup process okay thank you for watching